So now, um, Mr. Agnew, please, floor is yours. Thank you. Well, listening to this presentation, you get the impression that if trees are simply left alone, they will uh, store this carbon forever. But, of course, trees die. And when they die, they rot and they yield the CO2 back to the atmosphere. Or the tree is harvested for firewood. That's burnt, it yields the CO2 back to the atmosphere. Or it is harvested for paper. That paper may be used initially, but it will ultimately be burnt or it will rot and yield the CO2 back to the atmosphere. Or they're harvested for the making of furniture, which will last for a very long time, but ultimately it will be attacked by small organisms and insects and it will rot dry and it will yield the CO2 back to the atmosphere. And the only way that you can stop that is to add very powerful pres preservatives to it that will almost certainly cause CO2 to be emitted in their manufacture. You will never stop this cycle, and don't forget, the more CO2 there is in the atmosphere, the faster the trees will grow. Thank you. Trees die, and they release carbon, that's for sure, and they also absorb uh, carbon dioxide and grow faster when there is more carbon dioxide in the air, but thinking about the time limitation of carbon, uh, Paris Agreement and the 10 to 20 years time frame that we have, all the carbon molecules that are in the air are warming the air instantaneously when, uh, when they are in the air. So that's the climate uh, impact of these emissions. Uh, if the trees take them up, then that might be in, in 100 years when they have taken up the same amount of carbon that was released when the tree was cut and burnt.